and we are back so i think i said everything i had to say as an intro in the previous episode so let's just jump right into our spy run and here's our first encounter all right so again looking at the numbers and i think everyone knows that for three possible goods uh, in three attempts well we always have 100 percent chance of success so that's why we see 100 percent and uh, that's where we'll start with the cheapest option to get there and that would be all supplies in this case because that's our cheapest good like that still 100 percent of course and now we just give all the coins and that leaves us with crystal get some spell fragments and we'll quickly do the same things for the first three encounters because these are always 100 percent they always look the same just the goods are slightly different and done oh purple chest nice what we're gonna get another spell fragment third one goes like that Alright, done. And my recording software just crashed, so I'll have to replay this encounter again. So here we go. Oh, and here's our overlay. Alright, so as you can see, for uh, four goods and counters, we already down from 100%. It's not guaranteed uh, to be successful in three turns. However, if you think about this, the chances are pretty damn good. 91% uh, means that less than 1 in 10 encounters with four goods, we will be unable to successfully complete them in three turns. Uh, well, if we play it right. So that's pretty good. So let's just get into it. And as usual, we'll use all resources we have here and we double up our cheapest one, which is supplies. Like so. Yeah, you see, we didn't quite get to 100%. Uh, quite often you get to 100% certainty on the second turn. We still can fail here, uh, even though our chances improved slightly. So, let's go with Platinum, Coin, Supplies, and Coins. And we've got it. So you see, we only need to put Marble, Platinum, and supplies and that's done and get another mystery chest what did we get gold one wow this is level one is suspiciously good with bonus chest recently hmm. all right teleport nice and let's move to the chest number five right away again that's four and again we start with 91 percent certainty and here we'll go again with supplies supplies coins mana and moonstone Alright, so you see, 
Uh, it shows us 100%. That doesn't mean uh, we're going to get it with 100% on the right now on turn number two. But that basically the current setup guarantees us that we're going to reach success in three turns if we play it right. Uh, and quite often in these encounters, you will see that the best second move would be just to use two resources uh, and not all the ones that are available. So let's go mana, mana, supplies, supplies, and mana again. Boom. And as you can see, we're still at 100%, so that's, that's good. And we'll go Moonstone and Supplies. And that's that. 100% confirmed. And there's another mystery chest. There, Global Unknown. Hmm, something is going on here. Or maybe I'm just lucky. Probably shouldn't go to level 3, eh? so not to get all these portal profits again. All right, so let's go with supplies and the rest. Okay, well, that's actually the unfortunate scenario. As you can see, that actually makes sense because, well, on one hand, hey, in one turn, we guessed correctly four out of five. However, what, what that means, we only have one slot available to play with. And we have three goods potentially that we can uh, have in that slot. And we only have two attempts left. So that actually means two out of three chance we're going to succeed. But that also means there is a non-trivial chance of failure here, like one third. So as usual, let's go with the cheap one. So let's start with supplies. And that didn't work out, so we improved, so to speak, to 50% of the remaining chances. Well, we did not improve. But let's go with Obsidian. And you see, that's, that's what happens. These are not guaranteed. But in all fairness, for... for uh, for good encounters that really happens very infrequently. One in ten, yeah, I'll take that. Okay, again, we've basically got it. Obsidian supplies, obsidian supplies again. You see, we're just using two good types instead of all three. And now we can just clean it up with obsidian supplies and ink. Boom, done. All right, so what did we get? Five hours, nice. So the usual start. What do we get? Okay, well, we still have a chance of failing. So let's see what we can do here. So coins. Coins and soap. Yep, and again we've got 50 50. So let's see if we get a trade this time. Soap and elixir. And this time we've got a trade. And you see, we are barely, well, we're not even halfway through level one, and we're already raked in four chests, one purple, two gold, and one regular. Wow. Okay, we'll have to take one. Three catalysts, not bad. Okay, and here's our first five good chests into five slots. All right, so you see our chances uh, keep dropping, uh, but it's still pretty good. I mean, think about that. For the vast majority of level one, and level two, uh, you will be dealing with five encounters or less. And the chance for each of these encounters 
uh, well, to be successful in three turns is 78%. So basically four out of five times you will get it in the first attempt. That's not too bad. And of course the setup on the first turn here is just use everything. All right, so we improved our chances. It's still not guaranteed, but things are looking good. Supplies, coins, supplies, coins, and supplies. Again, we're just using two of the goods. And we've got it. So now we can go with shrooms, supplies, and coins. And that's done. Five to our time boosts, nice. And in three hours or faster, uh, we'll get to the second half of level one. All right, see you soon.